welcome to our or my new data analytics example and today I'm gonna analyze movie ratings so before we start we need to import the libraries that we are working with today and I'm going to use the pandas library so I'm gonna import my pandas library as PD and I'm also gonna need I'm sorry. I'm also gonna need the matplot library for plotting the results. Okay. Second, we need to import the data set that we are working with today. I will post the link to the data set below. So if you want to follow along, you're welcome to do so. And this data set is from Kaggle. Okay, so I'm gonna import my data set and I will call it movie ratings. And hopefully you know by now how to use the panda statement to import the, the data set. It's the pd.read underscore csv and that's for um, the file because my file here is a CSV file which I like much better. I love um, <laughs> CV files, CSV files. Okay, now we want to check out our data set and let's see how it looks like. Okay, here you go. So now you have your data set and what you see here is the index. And then we have here a column that also is sort of the index and we don't want that. We want this here. We want only one index and that we kind of, we do that by going up here again and say index col, which stands for column, is equal to zero. And that, hopefully you know the Python language, zero means is the first position. So it starts from zero and it goes all the way up. So let's see and let's see how that looks like. Okay, so this is how we want our data set to look like. And the next thing we're going to do is we are gonna further explore what we are dealing with here. So you can see here the column names on the top and the rows. We don't know how many rows there are. So what we are going to do is this, we are gonna say shape because that tells you what's the shape looking like of this table. And as you can see here, this has 5,611 entries and 10 columns. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to use the describe, fun uh, the describe function, or how do we call it? The describe command, yeah, that's the better word. And we want to look at this data set in more detail. So if you look at this, you can see here, these are movies from different years, right? Every movie has a year. And you can check which is the minimum year. So the oldest movie in here is from 1901. The oldest movie, I'm sorry, actually the other way around. So the, the movie, um, that is the oldest, um, was created in 2001. And the movie that was created most recent is in 2020. And you can also check what is the best rating of all the movies from IMDb, which is 9.6. And we can also check, um, for example, let's see. let's say the minimum rating of IMDb. Okay, we can also explore specific columns. Let's say we just wanna explore the IMDb column. You can just pass it the column name and say describe. And it tells you here basically everything that you could see on the top, okay? And we can also check that this data type of IMDb is a float, which will help us later. 
Okay. So next thing we want to do is we want to clean our data set. And by cleaning, I mean not to brush it. <laughs> we want to look for duplicates and null values. Okay, so the first thing is we want to see if there are any duplicate values. And we use the duplicated um, command and it gives you a Boolean expression, which means that it says either true or false. And that means if it's false, there are no duplicates. However, if you see a true, then they're duplicates and you need to drop them. In this example, there are no duplicate values, so we can move on. We also want to check for null values. And we use the is null command. And as you can see here, there are some null values, unfortunately. So what are we going to do with this? So in our case, we want to really, for example, get the ratings of the movie. So we need to drop these values because we cannot use them. And also if we want to find out the age, the year of the movies, or the age uh, restrictions, there are not enough information. So we are just going to drop these um, values and we're going to say movies ratings dot drop an A, which is the, the command to drop um, the null values. And we're going to say access equal to zero, which is the rows, stands for rows. And we also need to say, how do we want to drop them? We pass it any. And also the last thing we need to do is we need to say, um, first I want to see how it looks when I drop these, like what's gonna be the result. So if I drop these, we see that we have now 931 rows and 10 columns which means the good thing it didn't drop any of the columns. It really just dropped the values that had null values in them. Okay, that's what we want. So if we are sure that we want to do that, we have to say, instead of shape, we're going to copy and paste this here. And instead we say in place equal to true. What this statement does, it's, it's automatically overriding the movie ratings and it will replace or it will drop all the values from this data set. So if you are not sure, I would, you would always have to save it in a different variable so you can still use the movie ratings variable as a whole data set. Okay, so now let's see how if there are any more null values, it should say false everywhere. Great. So now you don't have any more null values that you need to worry about. Great. The next thing is we have to kind of find out what data types are we dealing with. So what we do is we say movie ratings D types and it shows us each of the data type. So typically when you graph something, you should make sure that your, that your columns and that your values are integers or floats because you cannot draw any objects um, on your graph because they're not numerical values. The next thing in our data analysis, we want to explore or answer certain questions. The first question I want us to answer is what are the top 10 rated movies according to Rotten Tomatoes? Before starting to find the answer to this, I want to change the name of Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, generally, I prefer if the column names don't have any space in between because it gives you issues later. I will, you will see um, that it's much easier if there's no space. So we going to rename this column and we say movie ratings dot rename and now we want to rename the columns 
you could rename multiple columns at the same time. We just want to actually change the name of one column. This is the, here you would say the old name and then you would um, pass it the new name. So we just want to eliminate the space. And we pass it the in place statement because we want to override um, the name in the whole data set. So you don't need to store it in a separate um, variable. Let's see if that worked. Um, movie ratings. We can always check by taking a look at the head. And yeah. So you can see that the Rotten Tomatoes has changed. The next thing is we want to take a look at the values in this column. So as you can see here, it has a percent sign. And that might be tricky, especially when you want to draw um, when you want to draw it. So I want to show you how to eliminate the percent sign and we also want to change it into an integer instead of an object. Um, because like I said, when you want to draw something, it has to be a numeric data, cannot be a string. So let's use a function called Lambda. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna say movie ratings and we want to look at the column named Rotten Tomatoes. And like I told you before, in this case, if there was a space, it would be problematic. So it's always good to just have no spaces. And we want to apply the Lambda function. And how you do that is you say lambda x, and now we say x replace. And now we need to think, what do we want to replace? We want to say, we do we want to say anything instead of the percent sign? I would say no. So we're just going to replace it with a space. So we need to say we want to replace the percent sign with space. Okay. And then, like I mentioned, I want to also change the data type to an integer. So I need to say, we want to save this as type, open parenthesis, and we say int 64. Um, how I choose this number is because I saw here that the other columns have values as an int 64. So I'm just going to say the same. And now let's see if that worked. So it should have removed the percent sign. And yeah, as you can see, we don't have any more percent sign. And we could also check the data type. Oh, if that was updated. The type. And you can see that it was updated to an int 64. So once you have that done, it's already much easier to work with this data. Okay, so now what we actually want to answer is what are the top 10 rated movies according to Rotten Tomatoes. In order to do that, you need to sort this column in the um, ascending order. Um, and because this is an integer, it means you need to technically sort it in descending order. So let me show you how to do that. Movie ratings dot, now we can say Rotten Tomatoes. Actually, let's say this. Movie ratings dot sort values by, and now we want to sort it by Rotten Tomatoes. That's the column that we want to sort and the next thing we need to do is we need to say in what order we want to sort it so we say ascending is equal to false 
Okay, and now if you can see here, it shows you that the top movies with a hundred percent rating, and the dot 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 means that there are a lot of other values eventually with the same uh, value so we want to see how many movies have been rated with a hundred percent so we use the movie ratings and we want to say basically we want to see this column Rotten Tomatoes is equal to 100 and we want to count the values okay so now what this shows you is that there are 95 movies with a hundred percent rating so how do we get the top 10 so it's quite tricky and for this purpose or for this exercise we're just gonna use the head function say we want the top 10 that the ones they show us with a hundred percent rating but like i said there are 95 movies with a hundred percent rating so there are actually more than top 10 okay what we can do is we can say now that we want this statement here i'm just gonna copy it and paste it and we want the head and the top 10 okay so this would show us the top 10 and i'm gonna save this in a new variable as the top 10 rotten tomatoes and it should be saved now okay great so now the second question i want you to answer and the second question is what are the top 10 rated movies according to uh, IMDB okay so I give you a few minutes you can pause this video if you want um, and you can try it on your own this is much easier it's very similar to the other one and the good thing is that you don't have to transform any data you don't have to delete anything because this one is already in a float okay so you can work with that okay so i'm just gonna do this i say top 10 imdb and now I want to sort the values by IMDB. And again, we want to say ascending is equal to false. And we want the top 10. And now let's take a look at it. Okay, so perfect. So the best rating is Breaking Bad with a 9.5 rating and the top 10 you can see here, okay? The next question I want to answer is how many movies have an 18 plus restriction? So how do we do that? So the first thing we want, that's a very simple question to answer actually. So you say movie ratings and now we want to see, we want to find the age column because you can see here that there are age restrictions, okay? So we say we want the age column and we need to set that equal to 18 plus, that's what we're looking for. And we want to count how many. So before I showed you, you can just use the count statement and you have your answer right here. There are 376 movies that have an 18 plus restriction. I hope that was an easy example. Um, let's move on to the next one. Question four. 
how many movies from this data set were made in 2010 and have an IMDb rating of greater or equal to 5. This is very similar to this example here, just that now you want to pass it multiple, um, how to say, you want to have multiple arguments being true. So what you do is you start with the same command, you say movie ratings, movie ratings, and you want to set, you want to find the age again. Sorry, wrong column. You want to find out the IMDB column and you want to see which of these is greater or equal to five. And because you have multiple column or multiple um, things you wanna check, you need to put that in parentheses and you pass it the end statement, where you say end, and you say movie ratings. And what else do we wanna check? So we want to see which of these were made in 2010. So where do we find the year? It's the year column. So we need to use the year column and look for movies that are equal to 2010 meaning they were made in 2010 or published. And we want to count these values. Let's see if it works. Okay, so as you can see, you have your answer again. There are 24 movies that meet this condition. Now let's find out how many age categories are there. Say question number five. How many different age categories are there? By age categories, I mean age restrictions. As you can see here, there are different age restrictions and I want to know how many different ones. And you can use a command called the unique command so it's very simple and you want to save this in the age groups variable you say movie ratings dot h that's the column name and unique and that shows you all the unique age groups and now if you want to see it gives you an array, it returns an array with the different age groups that are in the age column. The next thing we want to check is we want to group basically the age groups and see how many movies have a specific age restriction. So let's say we want to know how many movies have an 18 plus age restriction or how many movies have a 16 plus age restriction. So in order to do that, we're using the group by statement and we're going to say, we want to save this in age. Let's say age groups, we just call it a little differently. Since we don't really need this one here, we can just call it the same. We say age groups and we call it movie ratings dot group by and we want to group it by age. And we only want to know the title. Okay, and now we count. And I'm gonna show you how that looks like. Cool, so now you can see that the 13 plus, there are only three movies with a 13 plus age restriction. There are 359 movies with a 16 plus age restriction and there are 376 movies with an 18 plus restriction and so on. 
this is an integer so this is great because we might want to draw this um, but let's do some other things before moving on to the graphing part so now actually let's graph it and then we're gonna do one more exercise so in order to graph this we need to call the matplot uh, graph and that is matplt.plot and we need to give it now the name of the variable we saved it in we say age groups and we want to say we want to graph this in green and in dashed lines okay the next we want to have an x label and we call this the h um, h categories and we want to have a y label which we call the number of movies because this shows us how many movies have this age restriction and finally we're gonna use the plot dot show demand actually sorry plt and let's see if that works okay so now you have your first graph basically what that shows us is there are not that many movies with 13 plus restriction and it's increasing with the age so there are more movies that have a age restriction so we could either assume either we could say that generally movie makers like to make more horror movies maybe or the age um, restrictions have become a little more sensitive and uh, than it used to be so we will see we can take a look at comparing years um, which I'm gonna show you right up now okay the next thing what we can do is for example we want to check if the age restrictions have changed um, after 2000 uh, after the year 2000 and we're gonna basically group now um, the movies into the movies before 2000 and movies after 2000 in this data set so the first thing we are going to do is we want to check how many uh, different years um, are in our data set and we are going to do that by saying year groups equal to movie ratings dot year and we're using the unique command so now if we check and we say year groups it gives us all the years all the different years that are in our data set and we can also check what is the let's say what is a movie that was made really long time ago what was like the oldest movie in this data set and we're gonna say year groups dot min which gives us the um the oldest movie basically and we can say year max which gives us the latest movie in this data set so the latest movie was made in 2020 or published in in 2020 uh, now what we need to do is we need to save all the movies that were made before 2000 in one variable and we're gonna call this before 2000 so it's easy to remember and we have to search for these movies by using movie ratings um, dot year so we want to check in the year column and we want to see what movies are smaller or equal to 2000 and we're just gonna say okay and now we can take a look we can say before 2000 and it gives us a list of movies that were made before 2000 so you can see that um, and also 2000 included so now we want to count how many movies are here say count and you see that there are 60 movies that were made before 2000 or in 2000 we want to do the same thing for movies after 2000 so we say after 2000 
and we say movie ratings exact same command just greater than 2000 don't um, use greater or equal to 2000 because that you will have duplicates because you already saved the 2000 the movies that were made in 2000 in the before 2000 okay so um, just decide on one and save it there and now we want to count Oops, 2000 and there are 871 so there are a lot more movies that are made recently um, in this data set so uh, I'm gonna show you now how we can group these movies by age so we want to know um, which of these 871 movies or which of these 60 movies have an age restriction of either 16 plus 18 plus and so on so forth so now we say um, let's call it movies before 2000 so similar just remember what you saved there and we say we want to group this so we say we want to group the before 2000 right this includes all these movies here we want to group this by H so we say group by H and we want to say we can say title because we, we're not interested in all these other columns because they're all the same number so we can just focus on one we say title and it's gonna count um, each category basically each age category so if you want to take a look on how this looks like you will be surprised okay so now you can see that there's one movie that has an age restriction of 13 plus then there are 14 movies that have an age restriction of 16 plus and so on and so forth um, we're dealing with an integer it's nice that they give us the data type and we do the same now for movies after 2000 so we're gonna call this movies after 2000 is equal to after 2000 dot group by and again we're gonna group it by the age and I want to show you something title you can use any of these basically because the numbers are the same so you could say age if you wanted to and you will see that it's very similar it's basically the same it just now says name here age so I'm just I just prefer title but technically it's not gonna make a difference what variable you're using here or what column name okay so now you can see that there are 345 movies with an age restriction of 16 plus and so on and so forth what we can do now is we can plot um, this on one graph and what we are going to do is we need to say um, we're calling the plot the math plot library and that is plt.plot and now we need to pass it the name of the variable we stored the data that we want to plot so in this case we want to use this here movies before 2000 we want to plot this here basically we want to see how many movies had an age restriction of a certain um, value yeah and we want to have a let's say red line that is dashed and on the same graph we also want to see the movies that were after 2000 we want to have this on the same graph and we want to say we want this in green and next we also want an x label and that is in this case we say age categories that will be our x label and we also want a y label which basically shows us the number of movies
Okay, now you can see the graph here. Um, probably you're thinking now that is weird <laughs> that there is a number line here. That is because there are not that many movies in this in this age. Sorry, in after sorry before two thousand. That is why this this line here is very low and it's not a good comparison. So in order to really make a good comparison, we need to take the percentage of the movies. The last thing I want to show you is how to make this graph better and more accurate. And that is by using the percentage of the movies because each movie has a different number of movies in its own set. And you wanna make sure that you're using um, the percentage of it otherwise your data or your graph doesn't really give much information so in order to do that we call a new variable we say percentage before 2000 and then when we store basically the percent of the whole data set so i'm going to show you how to do that now so first we have already created before the movies after and movies before variable and we're gonna use that. So we say movies before 2000, and now we need to divide it by the sum of this um, data set. So we can say sum movies before 2000, and that should be all we need to do. And now we're gonna do the same for the movies after. Let me So we say percentage after 2000 and we are going to use the movies after 2000 divided by the sum of its variable. Okay, and we need these to the graph to make this graph better. So let's plot it and see how it looks now. So we say PLT dot plot we're gonna use this here as our data set and we're gonna say we graph this in some green dashed lines then we use the other variable on the same graph yellow the y stands for yellow and we also give it a label. We say age category, so that didn't change. The Y label is now the percentage of movies. And then we can already plot it. And cool. So now as you can see here, this graph looks much better. So if we take a look at this and say, so the green dashed line, as you can see here, is before 2000. So clearly there were many movies that had a seven plus restriction. And when you take a look at the percentage after 2000, so the movies made after 2000, there were a lot more movies with an 18 plus restriction. So um, we can basically say that movies have become maybe more extreme after 2000 um, than they used to be. And there can be multiple reasons. And if you do data science, you, you will be more analyzing um, the reasons behind um, certain facts that you can basically see with this um, data uh, analysis. Uh, I hope you could learn something today from this data analytics example. I hope to do more in the future, so please tune in to my channel, take a look at the other videos, and also leave a feedback or a comment on what you would like to see in the future. And thanks so much for watching.